Scott, let's go visit the local grocery store and we're going to learn about the different fats that are on the market. We can find oils and fats in both the plants and animals. According to the website Diet Doctor, you can find our link under the video, dietary fat is very important. It helps absorb the fat-soluble vitamins. It regulates inflammation and immunity. I can test to that one. It can maintain the health of your cells, including skin and hair cells. My hairdresser has commented that my hair is much thicker than it used to be. And it really helped you feel full and satisfied. I tried powdered coffee creamer in my coffee one day, and the next day I put half and half cream as an experiment without any breakfast to go along with it. I was hungry and craving food the next hour with the powdered creamer, and I lasted until almost 11 a.m. with the half and half cream in my coffee. So I have spent most of my adult life staying away from fats. I've eaten processed so-called low-fat foods, and today I struggle to maintain my weight. So I have changed back to butter, no more margarine, and healthier cooking oils. So today I want to discuss with you the different oils. Let's talk about first saturated fats. This is a fat that contains only saturated fatty acids and it's always solid at room temperature. So for example, this would be your butter, your coconut oil, cheese, and lard. Now there's also monosaturated fats. These are your oils that are liquid at room temperature, but they start to solidify at cold temperatures. Examples of these would be olive and avocado oil. And also there are foods such as almonds, Brazil nuts, hazelnuts, pecans, and macadamias. These are all rich in monosaturated fats. Then Scott, you have the polysaturated fats, which we have heard about with omega-3s. Your fatty fish, dairy, eggs, chia seeds, flax seeds, hemp seeds, and walnuts all fall into this category. There are also the omega-6 fats, which are getting a bad rap right now because they are being used in processed foods and the oils that we don't want to use in a keto diet, such as safflower oil, sunflower, soybean, cottonseed, and corn oil. I have heard that vegetable and seed oils are highly refined and they don't provide much nutritional value. Again, I recommend you go to the link under the video and visit the Diet Doctor's website. It's very informative. So Scott, let's go to the kitchen. And today we're gonna to make a vinaigrette dressing for a salad. This recipe is so easy to remember. It's two parts oil to one part vinegar. You can use your favorite vinegar. I like the sugar-free rice vinegar here. Also today, I want you to decide, would you like to make your dressing from avocado oil olive oil, or this grapeseed oil. You can use any container to mix the ingredients. Here's a mixing bowl that I put in the jar. I also like to add a bit of water, but it's optional. Here are tubes of seasonings. They come in several flavors and several brands. You can find them in the vegetable section of the grocery store. Today we're going to use this Italian herb blend. You squeeze about a tablespoon into your mixture. Now add one packet of sugar-free sweetener, salt and pepper to taste, dip a lettuce leaf in the mix and see if it's to your taste. Add more seasonings to your liking. Since this is made with a monosaturated oil, I keep it out of the refrigerator, so just make enough for a few days. Now you can keep it in this mixing jar 
or you can get fancy. Scott, I have a show and tell for you today. We inherited this box from your grandparents and inside was this beautiful hand-painted bowl with salt and pepper shakers and a cruet. We think it was your grandparents' wedding gift over 60 years ago and it was never used. So today for the first time, we are going to use it. So let's pour your salad dressing into the cruet. Now let's put some of the salad from this bowl onto our plates. Pour some dressing on it and let me know what you think because I know you like your blue cheese dressing. Hey guys, hope you've all had a good week. Uh, my week's been, uh, been pretty good. I've learned a lot this week, so uh, I can't complain a whole lot. Uh, this week I wanted to talk to you guys uh, about a, another verse, and lo and behold, it's in Psalms. Uh, the Lord's been kind of walking me around Psalms a little bit, so I guess we're learning Psalms this time. Uh, Psalms 138.7 uh, Though I walk in the midst of trouble, thou wilt revive me. Thou shalt stretch forth thine hand against the wrath of mine enemies, and thy right hand shall save me. When I first read this, I was like, Wow, that that kind of sounds like the the very first verse we were what we were talking about in uh, in the first video, Psalms twenty three four, and lo and behold, uh, you look at it right here in Psalms, and there's a little A above it, and it t takes it right back to it, uh, except it it adds one more verse, it adds three to it, so we're gonna go over it as just a little bit of a reminder, uh, Psalms twenty three three through four, He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. I love how God takes you around. He says, look, I've shown you in one place. Now I'm going to show you in another. He keeps, he keeps walking you around saying, I'm, I'm making it clear, making it clear. I, I love that about God. He, he, there's no stumbling around. He's like, if you, if you take the time to look into what he's saying, he really does show you. All right. So the next part of this, it says, Thou shalt stretch forth thine hand against the wrath of mine enemies. That's pretty intensive as well. So, you know, God will provide you the protection. You know, he will help hold back the severities of your troubles. You know, God is a fair and honest God, and nobody gets a better shake than anybody else. You know, but God is there for us to, you know, to, for his shoulder to cry on. Uh, I love the next part so about the enemies. Now, enemies can mean more than just mean people. Uh, enemies can be anything. Uh, anxiety, depression, self-doubt fear, even trust, trusting in other people and trusting in yourself. You know, anything that hurts you or bring you down, it, you can consider to be an enemy. And God is saying, you know, let me I'm gonna stretch forth mine hand against those enemies and I'll help you against that. And then finally in the end, he says, and thy right hand shall save me. You know, God, again, like I said, is constantly telling us that he will help us and that he loves us. Uh, allow God's right hand to reach out and save you. You know, God saves me several times a day. You know, when I hurt, I go straight to him. And the Lord, this is going crazy. Please help me. You know, my head's going crazy. Please help me. And, you know, so all I can say is try it yourselves. You know, pour out your heart to God. You know, allow him to cover you in protection and love. You know, and then finally, you know, I beg, please allow, allow God to save you. Take the steps that I've taken and, and put your faith and trust in God. And, and allow him to, to show you his love. Well, I hope you all have uh, an amazing week, and I look forward to talking to you guys uh, next week. God bless.